so in this video we are going to see the devices tab so in devices you see the phones that your uh, team members will use on uh, across the board and over there you can see that there is no phone listed even though I mentioned that my son uses tablet and then I have my own phone installed in <clears throat> this one is that your company give out the phones that business phones to its users and their company property uh, they can do that or you can configure profile and upload to those uh, users phones um, so you see there is nothing user phones but they will show up here if user configured those profiles common area phone conference phones so this is common area phones throughout the building and then these are the conference phones that uh, uh, they have uh, in the um, conference rooms that they can use um, it's like a device in the middle of the uh, table around sitting maybe 18 20 people and uh, then the other team is in uh, another remote location and there is another device on their table so that's how it works <clears throat> you can do video con uh, video conference as well through Skype or now from teams so these are the configuration profiles I wanted to show you that you can configure one you see device lock do you want the device to be locked or not this uh, you can put a name here description a timeout uh, on that if this profile was to load on a phone what how the phone will react the phone uh, will lock timeout uh, on the screen in 30 seconds the device lock pin is six digits long um, in this case it is actually one two three four five six language of that phone the time zone of that phone <clears throat> date format on that phone and is it 24 hour or it's 12 hours then device setting uh, is there a screen server on that or not screen server simply means the timeout and screen locks and you know back uh, what's the brightness you can set up everything uh, backlight timeout high contracts or not silent mode no so you don't want your uh, business phone to be silent you want them to ring or you know buzz or whatever <clears throat> what are the office hours it's eight to five you can see that this month and then is it on power saving no you want that device to function properly you don't want it to be in power saving mode and restricting some or all services and screen capture do you want that device that is for business purposes to be able to uh, capture a screen and that is a data privacy things that of course you don't want any information displayed on that phone and then you don't want your user uh, of your <coughs> to capture screens and you know <clears throat> so this is the network setting that is for the VPN uh, probably like is it DHCP enable or not do you want that device to be able to connect to uh, networks or not and then there is different you can logging enable if you turn it on you can write all this here network PC port so you can turn it on but then you can write information here like for example charter com or imran.local whatever the host name and then the, the, oh sorry that's the domain name so you can put uh, charter.com you can give it in a, a an IP address you know uh, class A B whatever subnet mask what's the subnet mask what's the default gateway and all of the settings you can set and then you can save it <coughs> and that will become a profile configuration profile you could do so um, uh, there are different ways to do this you can do profiles for uh, by departments or by phone or however you want it for example if a department uh, you are assigning them all Android phones you can create this name it Android for sales department or IT department or you know outdoors uh, sale department um, accounting finance any department and if they are all getting the same phone <coughs> then you all you have to do is just make the settings here then you are not doing it by the device you are doing by the uh, department name but if it's like for one but 
it's a uh, one policy for iOS the same policy for Android across the board then you just need two po policies one for the iOS and one for the Android just to distinguish because in general you can apply it uh, uh, to any phone right so that's how you do it I'm not gonna save it I'm gonna cancel out of it uh, for the configuration profile and you will see here how many devices are there which devices need update in terms of software the operating system installed on them and how many of them are actually offline they were uh, they need to be charged or choose to turn them off that's it and then this is the collaboration bars so you will see uh, who is the user what's the name what's the status manufacture of that device that model and action like there will be some action listed here <clears throat> and again it's the same across board and configuration profile against that um, like um, first the name of that description assigned to who is it assigned to the user what is modified by who modified it and what they and you can do the add and assign that you can do again uh, the uh, poly profile not policy so you can see if you really must it's like policy for device so but be very sure the policies are for users and profiles are for phones <coughs> or mobile devices over here again is this setting is only how many uh, columns you want to see over here so this is uh, all for the uh, teens devices tab if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one